What's up guys, this is Sean Dunn and today I am in Eco Majestic Semenye. It's only like 10 o'clock and uh, you can see that there's a lot of crowds actually shopping for properties really here in Semenye. On a weekdays you have like 10 to 15 groups, on the weekends it's even way more people. So there's a demand actually for their campaign. And in total, Eco Majestic is 1,000 acres huge. And this 1,000 acres piece of land, right, is actually sandwiched between City Eco Hill and City Eco Hill 2. Are they the same company? No. But they are actually from the same founder, which is a long, very, very, very long story. Lah. So, Mellow Wood is divided into two types of products. One is the conventional, where For this part, right, you see the cars, they still go in right so you actually still go through a living room and dining room behind so your master bedroom is on top but on the other side the car park is actually parked behind but this is the front porch of the house so for houses on the inside right this is actually a front porch of the house where it's very cool because you get to enjoy all these signature eco world landscape treatments Mm. A lot of people from Puchong, Subang, Ampang, and a lot of customers are buying for own stay here because seven to eight hundred thousand for a terrace house like this strata, you get that very very home feeling. Then they really really emphasize on the feeling of home. Anyway, the whole concept for this new unit that I'm going to show you guys is actually this is where we park the car and you go into the back door, which is actually your dining and kitchen. So per se, right? So your living is actually facing the garden. Get it? Okay, once you enter the house, right? So this will be your dining and uh, kitchen already. So your kitchen is actually behind. But uh, this kitchen, right, is actually it's comes with this solid surface. Right? And although there's no light being turned on, right? It's really quite bright because of all these super tall glazings. Right? And with this kind of glazing, this space, if you add in the cabinets, oh, so it's a very workable space, but it's those rectangular type, like not the L type. So most probably it will be your stove, right? And your fridge somewhere here. And if you have any questions at all, right, just go to Ecobo Residence Club, they will give you all the details that you need. Right next to the kitchen, there will be a ground floor bedroom, right? And this ground floor bedroom have the view and windows to the back space. So there are also designs where because show you guys huh? because for right outside is actually the dedicated space for washing machine. So you need to do your laundry there. So there are also designs where you can actually hack this room out to be a much larger bedroom space. There's four bedrooms, four bathrooms. It means that on the top floor, three bedrooms will all have ensuite toilets. That's the best. Lah. And now what you are seeing right, is actually the living room itself. And it's very, very bright right now because the amount of glazings for this corner lot is huge. Let me count, right? see? This is the corner one, one, then that's the main one. All are glazings all around and those are super huge in complements to the very high ceiling. This is 12 feet, so it's around 3.6 meters. Upper floor is 3.3, which is like crazy. Then coming out from your front door, and you have what I mentioned to you guys about, which is the gate out to the garden itself. This corner lot, right, is actually 1.2 million. And uh, if you want to go for intermediates, right, it's actually around 800,000. So, a lot of people are actually buying and very attracted to these products right now is because of the hope campaign that they are launching. For more details, contact the person down below. 
Let's go upstairs. Okay, so we are now in the upper floor and what you can see immediately, right? It's the very, very high ceiling. And even you check out this. Like the side profile right, actually provides daylight into the space which actually indirectly lights up this huge staircase boiler. So one thing I also like is actually the size of the staircase. So it will be good right next time when you don't know how wide it is. Just go by 1 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet, 4 feet, 5 feet. Right? So it's a 1.5 meter staircase. Okay, let's head on to the master bedroom. Entering the space, you are invited by this balcony facing the garden that you like. Right, let's go out. Coming right outside, you have this very, very amazingly big balcony, right? And for those who have really booked the units facing the garden, right? This is the view that you actually get. You have the fountains, you have the gardens, you have the walkways. You have people doing your maintenance. No, you have the guard house and things like that. So, then for their treatment of facade, right, it's actually, once again, it's the black and white themed. So you can get all these like, shingles kind of thing. And these are actually timbers. Like. And one, also one comment would be the window latch. Because these kind of features is actually not really concrete, right? but it just adds depth to the profile of the facade. When you just have coffee here to the water sound, sometimes grass cutting sound, and you have floor trap as well, so no worries for rain. And this is one of the features just now I was wondering what is it? Actually it's a plug. Right? And so this one is way more secured than the transparent one that we usually give lah. So awesome. And you always have security guards, you see. So this bedroom itself right, is amazingly huge right? because the entire front, 24 feet of the building, is all your bedroom. Let me show you guys. So you see right, from this wall up to that wall, with just the next party wall to your next unit ready, this entire is 24 feet. That's why you can feel that wow, the extensive of space. Because conventionally, this would be a toilet, right? Then part of the piping is actually above your staircase block head, right? But this one is different because they locate the toilet at the side. Actually, for bathroom tilings, it's usually just like two tone meaning the wall and the floor, right? You just match that, then ceiling just leave it bare, and that's about it. But now this one, the toilet is actually brought into another level of that's what it goes always do like the simple things to in your mind. This is one very little detail I like because this piece right is usually the piece that always that me right? because when you have timber floor all the way here and usually our toilet mat is actually put here right? then when I come out from the toilet with my wet legs what happens is I'll step this first before I go here so not later this will be the piece that rots first and it's very difficult to do. So what they did is they actually Shanghai plastered it. And it goes in accordance to their team as well. Of course, in all their usual specs, the height of this is all very considerate. And this would be the door to the gut house. Oops, oops, shit, I'm sorry. Moving on to the two back rooms, right? So the two smaller rooms, as you mentioned, it's en suite. And this is the toilet. Lah. Also, another small little detail I'm gonna compliment. I don't know whether it is applying to all units, but this little thing here, not very difficult to do, but just stops your doorknob from damaging your wall. Lah. If not, every time you see here, there's marks. Yes, and you have a sliding door to your back balcony. Back balconies, right, of two rooms is actually shared. This will actually indirectly form an overlooking issue where I can see whatever that's happening at the back. So most probably 
some will be tinting, some will be using a lot of curtains and vice versa. Go to the next room, you will sure have your toilet here. Right next to the toilet will be your bedroom. And you have one, two, three huge ass windows. And then again, that's your back already. One thing right to compliment is the age of all these structural elements, right? It's actually very tiny. Like this is actually a beam that supports the whole house. And it's already very very thought through, like this one is also a beam. Meaning they tidy up the edges all really really well. Another example would be the master bedroom, you see? A very tidy, very tiny, well done. So it just flushes according to the space divisions and I also like the consistency of like, even the colours from the timber railing to the timber handle. Right? So I think that's all for the visit of this show unit. Let's go to Sean take 3 on 3. Three things number one I really like which is the Eco World branding exercise. Which is their signature roundabout, their signature landscape treatments. And now they are actually putting this into point number two. Which is the architectural features right. If you look into their Eco Sanctuary products and Eco Majestic products. There's still difference and you, it's very surprising that they can still continue to innovate a terrace house because since their strength is landscape right why not make people come back home and open their doors to the future landscape that they are so proud of third of all would actually be the campaigns and ownership assistance that they are trying to help genuine own use basically people who buys for own use like you will go for either help to own or stay to own that is something that I really like three things I don't like number one would actually be the distance away from the town Right from KL. That is the same statement we had for Subang Kota Komning. Depends where you work though. Because a lot of people don't know this, which is the launching of EKVE. It's another branch from the Kajang Silk Highway, which is mainly connected to the outlet of this town. If you really want to go to KL, right, it's only via the Silk Highway, and now there's only three branches. But what is actually in construction is the fourth branch directly to Jalan Ambang itself. So, so I guess that pretty much makes things a little bit closer. Number two would be the elegant architecture facade thingy, right, that they were always uh, very emphasizing on. Somewhat always caused that side effect, like, so like it's water and rain stains, because the timber panels here as well, I'm not sure whether over time it will rot in accordance to rain. And there's no one project over five to eight years yet, so I cannot tell. But I think this falls under the maintenance, there will be specs and colour codes to actually help residents to maintain, most probably. Last but not least will actually be Samanye as a location. I've been to the town just now, it's still very old school. La. With that all being said, right, I think Ego as a developer, they also know that the lack of infrastructure in the town, right? That's why if you look into their master plan, in part of their 1,000 acres, there's 150 acres for main commercial purposes. Therefore, in conclusion, what I think, do I like this place as a own use if I'm working at home, if I continue to do this full time, right? I'll just stay at home and edit my videos. Then most probably, yes, lah, because at 800,000, you get a strata fight house like this. It's really a home kind of feeling. So in comparison to that would be 800,000 in city center, high rise. Oh. Which one would you pick? So it's really up to individual preference. But for the certified landed segments, right? Eco World is really the top of the line currently. Like. No argument about that. Security wise, cleanliness wise, maintenance wise, facility wise, feel wise. I think that's all for this episode. If you really like this video, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.